Semper Fi, everyone. Welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, U.S. Marine veteran and historian Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll discuss the United States Marine Band, which is the premier band of the United States Marine Corps. Established by an act of Congress on 11 July 1798, it remains the oldest of the United States military bands and the oldest professional musical organization within the United States. Today, the Marine Band includes a Marine Chamber Orchestra and Marine Chamber Ensembles. The band is entirely separate from its sister military band, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, also known as the Culminant's Own, and the 10 active duty Marine Corps field bands. The relationship between the Marine Band and the White House began on New Year's Day, 1801, when U.S. President John Adams invited the band to perform at the Executive Mansion. Later that year, U.S. President Thomas Jefferson gave it the title, The President's Own, initiating the tradition of Marine Band performances by requesting that it perform at his inauguration, and it has played at every United States presidential inauguration since. The band performs in approximately 500 events every year, including state funerals, state arrival ceremonies, state dinners, parades, concerts, and other social events. The band also travels across the country each October and November during its fall concert tour, a tradition that began in 1891 under its most famous director, composer John Philip Sousa. The Marine Band recruits experienced musicians selecting members through a rigorous audition procedure. Members must satisfy additional security and physical requirements to be eligible. Selected band members serve under a four-year contract as active duty enlisted Marines and are subject to the Uniform Code of Military Justice and Physical Standards. Members of the President's Own and the United States Coast Guard Band are the only members of the United States Armed Forces not required to undergo recruit training and do not perform combat missions. Also, they are not assigned to any other unit besides the Marine Band. Musicians of the Marine Bands must attend boot camp and Marine combat training. The President's own band members start at the rank of Staff Sergeant and wear rank insignia with the lyre, replacing the standard cross rifles. Commissioned officers are often drawn from within the band, however, auditions are open to members of all Marine Corps bands. Drum majors are career Marines and they are selected from the Marine Corps field bands as they are responsible for the military development of the band's members. The Marine Band's performance schedule is coordinated by the Marine Band branch of Headquarters Marine Corps Public Affairs, which works with the Director of the Marine Band and the Marine Band Operations Office to schedule performances and ceremonies by the band, chamber orchestra, and chamber ensembles. The Marine Band also has a professional support staff in administration, public affairs, and supply offices working to coordinate, promote, and facilitate performances throughout the year. The full band has a complement of about 130 members, although they all play together only rarely. A 42-piece band is used for all Pentagon and formal military arrivals and patriotic openers for significant events. These patriotic openers are 15 minutes of patriotic music, including the presentation and retirement of the colors, the Star Spangled Banner, and the Marines Hymn. These openers are performed throughout the Washington DC metropolitan area at various events for military organizations, federal agencies, and associations. The Marine Band also has participated in every presidential inauguration since Thomas Jefferson's in 1801. The Marine Band is positioned at the United States Capitol for the swearing-in ceremony, and a 99-piece band marches in the inaugural parade back to the White House. The band also performs for celebrations following the official ceremony and parade. Friday evening parades are held at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C. during Friday evenings from May through August. These 75-minute performances of music and precision marching feature the Marine Band along with the Drum and Bugle Corps and the Silent Drill Platoon. The Marine Band sometimes performs at additional events such as state dinners and formal receptions at the White House, as well as performances at the National Sylvan Theater in Washington, D.C. during the summer months. The Military District of Washington Commander of Troops arranges the ceremonial preparations and, for the funeral, 
supervises the procession to the Washington National Cathedral in Northwest DC for state funerals. A 99-piece band provides traditional music during each phase of the state funeral, often with other military bands. Previous funeral processions in the nation's capital have honored 10 presidents. The Marine Band also performs during a state arrival ceremony at the White House, an event which welcomes a visiting head of state to the United States and begins a state visit. The band is located on the balcony of the South Portico, just outside the Blue Room. Following the ceremony, the Marine Band performs in the Cross Hall during the receiving line and reception. The Marine Band participates in every full honors military funeral for a deceased Marine at Arlington National Cemetery. During the funeral ceremony, the Marine Band performs chorales and hymns every occasion the deceased is transferred or moved. When the escorts and funeral procession moves the deceased from a chapel or transfer site to the final resting place, a drum cadence and funeral marches are performed. The Marine's hymn is performed for the final transfer of the deceased onto the resting site. Following this, the deceased receives final honors and three volleys and a lone bugler from the Marine Band performs taps. After the funeral ceremony, a United States flag is folded and presented to the family of the deceased during which the Marine Band performs Eternal Father, Strong to Save, the Navy Hymn. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack and perhaps you learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. As always, please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and please leave a comment in the section below. I love interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't forget to tell a friend and family member, and until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.